Welcome in Architron LightWave Kit 2023 plugin for LightWave. My name is Viktor Holichko and in this video I'll show you what's new with this plugin. First, we have uh, two insanely useful new tools, Divide and Minimize. Both of them works with uh, curves, polygons and NURBS surfaces. With Divide you can divide curves, uh, polygon edges and NURBS surfaces. With Minimize you can reduce the uh, curves, polygons and NURBS surfaces. Both tools are extremely useful and you're gonna love them because uh, they are completing all basic edit tools with the, uh, in the latest uh, NURBS engine. So it works with curves, meshes, polygons and NURBS surfaces. Then I'll show you what's new with align based tools. You can now interactively insert or remove uh, points on align based tools. Very useful. And finally, I, I want to announce that the NURPS UV mapping in this engine is finally completed and every single edit tool is preserving UV maps, not destroying them. So this is completed and you can benefit from this engine now even on new mapped objects. And um, in final chapter, uh, after next, uh, I will show you what you can expect from next version, given the current uh, situation with LightWave. So let's start. Let's start with new divide tool. New divide tool has two versions, regular divide, which is applied to all geometry and divide edge, which is much more flexible because you uh, can select any NURBS curve uh, segment or uh, edge of the polygons or edge of the NURBS surface and only this particular edge or segment is divided. So uh, I'll start selecting here uh, these uh, lines, NURBS segments and you can see immediate result, result of division and if you apply this tool to mesh quads or triangles and you select opposite edges of, uh, of these quads or, or triangles then all the, the surface is divided and uh, as you can see if you use this on especially on quad meshes it uh, is way much more flexible than regular divide because you can divide uh, this uh, object uh, w with much more ways uh, you don't need to uh, divide all quads to quads, but you can uh, divide them horizontally, vertically or both sides. Same uh, can be applied to NURBS surfaces, so you can divide this NURBS surface horizontally, vertically, vertically or both. So this way you can see uh, it's uh, way much more flexible, very useful. And on the top of that, it has also two different types of dividing. First type, regular type, is by uh, dividing by exact count, so you can uh, change uh, exactly how many times each selected edge uh, is divided uh, with a number. And second type is you can uh, switch to distance mode, and in distance mode you define the approximate end distance of uh, each, each divided piece. Uh, each divided edge and this is approximated so uh, the number of divisions is recalculated from the distance you won't uh, have final distance of these pieces and this this version this type of uh, dividing is also very useful because you divide geometry to regular pieces so also very useful and of course this all works also with UV mapping. So if I enable here this image, this was this object was originally UV mapped. So you can see also I will undo this and do it again. So you can see this is UV map mapped mesh, and you can divide it. And UV map is not destructed at all. Also on the surfaces. So. UV maps are not distracted by this tool, or preserved and properly divided. Second new tool in this version is a minimize tool. 
Minimize tool has also two versions, regular minimize and uh, minimize edge version. First is applied to all geometry, second is applied only to selected edges. So this tool is a unification or simplification of previous reduce tools, but now the minimize tool works also with NURB surfaces, NURB curves, and it is reducing the knots from uh, these uh, NURBS surfaces and curves. So let's use it, regular version on this object, and you can see immediate result. Uh, in this case, this was all linear surfaces. It uh, is removing only points, and the final result is just a simple clean polygon with no redundancy. So shape is intact, but all redundancy uh, is removed or uh, minimized. On this point line, I'll show you how point threshold, angle threshold works with a minimize tool. So when you use minimize tool on this kind of uh, point line object, uh, it highlights all points which uh, will be removed. And if you set the angle threshold, point removal angle threshold parameter to low value, then only points which are really lies uh, on uh, pseudo, these pseudo lines here are removed, but these distracted, little bit distracted points are intact. And uh, if you if you adjust this threshold a little bit higher, then also these additional points are fitting into this uh, threshold range, and all also these will be removed. So uh, here you can see the difference between angle threshold low value and higher value. So with this kind of adjusting with uh, angle threshold, you can define the detail of removal from the uh, uh, objects. So after done, very clean line, only with corner, original corner points and all, all redundant points are minimized. Very important issue if it curves is that uh, the all these pieces which you want to minimize, all these points must be must be connected into a single cur curve. So if uh, this is exploded into more curves, so each curve is separate, not connected, if you use the minimize tool, it has no effect. So very good combination for minimization of geometry is first use the join tool. This will connect, remove redundant overlapped parts, and then use minimize and minimize will reduce all these redundant points along this curve. So uh, this is a very important issue to use minimize together with join tool. On this example, I'll show you how to use minimize edge tool uh, on polygonal objects. So uh, we can select individual, individual edges and these edges are removed if they are within the threshold, removal threshold, one, one degree here. So after I apply, you can see the corner edges are intact, but only these inside edges below threshold are removed. So this is another use of this tool. You can see clearly how this is useful. It works like a unified tool uh, on, on uh, surfaces or polygons. So another use of this tool. In this example, I'll show you the uh, removal of knots with minimize tool. So first, I will refine. I will refine these curves with additional knots. Let's say set to medium. So we have here all these highlighted knots are included. These are additional knots, some more control points, and the reverse operation on refinement is now with minimize tool. So if you use minimize tool, the all redundant knots are removed and after two is done we have uh, the original contour points of these curves before uh, refinement. So this is another use of minimize tool. And finally I'll show you a removal knots with the minimize tool on NURPS surfaces. So here we have the NURPS surface. I will use a refine on this. Additional knots are included here so much more dense 
uh, control points here on this surface and reverse operation again to use is to use minimize uh, I will use minimize edge so let's say I will remove only disk nodes and the or bolt so you can see uh, it works very well even or on NURP surfaces and of course it all works with the UV mapping so as you can see UV mapping is intact also with the minimize tool same as all previous tools included next very useful improvement in uh, actual version is the improvement in a line tool on all tools which are using line based tool including wall pipe uh, rail um, and the improvement is that you can insert point just by clicking into segment just like this and also you can delete the active point with this delete button previous version was uh, working only with the last point so you was able to uh, add and delete only last points but uh, current version also possible to include point in on existing segment and also remove that active point from inside of the, this chain so this is uh, very useful and way much more interactive than previous version and it works same way with uh, the pipe tool so you can use it on pipes uh, also in curves and also with basic align tool in with all all modes curve mode and also spline mode uh, in spline mode you are inserting point directly on the curve on the curve very useful so this is improvement with line tool and finally noops uv mapping is finally completed so uh, every single edit tool which is running on the uh, latest NURPS engine is preserving uv maps so even uh, previous new tools like offset edge or round edge are preserving the UV map so it is not removed uh, after you edit it with this uh, edit tools including all the new tools divide refine minimize join expose every single edit tool is not destroying UV map this is very important this is very hard to do together not just on uh, polygonal surfaces but also on the uh, NURP surfaces so so this is done and you can start benefit from this feature so you can use all edit tools on already UV mapped uh, objects we don't fear that you, you lose the uh, UV maps Architron LiveFCAD next so first information we want to hear LiveFCAD development continues it will be slower pace development cycles will be longer but you will still get new LiveFCAD uh, updates there will be no more free updates no more uh, discounts but you can still get new updates uh, the price of updates will be adapted to amount of new features so if, if it will be smaller update it will be cheaper and a big update will, will be more expensive but you can still get free version if you have auto subscription the future of LiveFCAD development is that LiveFCAD engine is identical to Cinema engine, the uh, internal routines, NURPS engine routines and uh, parametric object routines are identical. So if there will be even a couple of LiveWave users, this plugin will be still uh, recompiled also for LiveWave. And the only limitation is that uh, the model is doesn't have object here it's way much less interactive and you cannot expect from me to do some big structural light with specific uh, changes because a lot of features in model are, uh, are limited but you can still get the core functionality of these new tools so what you can expect you can expect complete parametric pipeline which will be now finished so from walls, windows, stair railings, fences, roofs, shingles, gutters, brick styles, cladding, roads, and even more 
uh, arch with specific tools. This pipeline will be completed, will be done. It is already done way much better than previous version you have in Lightwave. And you can uh, really looking forward to this pipeline and also NURP surface tools uh, continuity. So uh, there will be more, more updates to, to NURP's uh, toolset. And finally, I want to inform you about Sculptron project. The Sculptron is part of Auto Universe. And if you have Auto subscription again, this is free for you. Uh, we are working on blending Sculptron together with uh, Architron. So you can looking forward also into this. Uh, the guys from Sculptron, uh, some guys are from a LiveWave team. So there is some continuity of LiveWave also in this project. Thank you for watching this video and I am looking forward uh, to next versions.